Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David, and today we're gonna to talk about the Diodostini Build Your Own X-Wing. Let go, Luke. The Force is strong with this one. All right, welcome back. May the Force be with you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love Star Wars. I hope you love Star Wars too. Uh, I love everything Star Wars. So if you're new to the channel, uh, I do reviews for vintage toys. I'm doing a review for the X-Wing right now. I review the vintage books. I talk about Star Wars Celebration. Pretty much if you slap Star Wars on it, I want to talk about it. And I love all of it. I love everything. I love the cartoons. I love the graphic novels. I like the books. I like the toys. I'm a Star Wars fan. So I love, I love all of it. Uh, this is my third video for the Diodostini Build Your Own X-Wing model kit. Um, and I try to save these up because the kits come in the mail and usually just within one box, there's four different sets to build, but they're pretty quick builds. So this time I've saved up two boxes, okay? We're gonna go through two different boxes, two different uh, packages that I've got in the mail. We'll talk about each one. I'll walk you through all the pictures uh, and they're just photographs. You know, I'm not doing a complete build step by step. There's other people out on YouTube that have done that. I'm trying to go a little faster so that you don't spend your entire time watching me boringly uh, build something. So hopefully uh, this entire series will only be a handful of videos and you'll be able to see the entire thing pretty quickly. So let's look at the first box. All right, in the first box, we have issues 17, 18, 19, and 20. And so as these come, uh, you get a little instruction book. Well, it's a, really a magazine. It's a magazine that kind of walks you through everything Star Wars and everything X-Wing. And then with each magazine, with each set of instructions, you also get the parts. In issue 17, I'll show you the cover and the parts right next to it so you get to see what's included. Uh, the article inside this is about Nian Num who the actor that played him was Mike Quinn, and he was a mouse-eyed native of Sullust. Ninam was uh, an arms dealer and a smuggler who piloted the mail crawler. And that's typical in all the magazines. You're gonna get an article about a person and then the ship that they flew. In this package, we got the underside of the wing and the underside of the engine that I've been working on. And of course, I was right. All that pretty detail that I was building got covered up. So now with issue 17, the wing is done. The wing I was working on is done. In issue 18, uh, this article had Anakin Skywalker and his junk ship, the Twilight. Uh, and you'll know about Twilight from the Clone Wars if you watch the Clone Wars cartoon. But inside issue 18 was only just two pieces of canopy glass. Uh, just the two pieces that click into the cockpit canopy and that was it. Issue 19, the article inside this was about Asajj Ventress that was played by the actress Nika Futterman. Uh, Asajj Ventress was an assassin trained in the ways of the dark side by Count Dooku. And in issue 19, you got the lower port laser gun, the lower half of it. Issue 20, inside this, uh, there's an article about Zev Seneska. Zev was a rebel pilot assigned to Echo Base on the frozen planet of Hoth and the actor that played him was Christopher Malcolm. Inside this, you get the laser generator, and I had to paint the insides black again so that it didn't show the glow, and I would recommend that you use thick modeling paint and not spray paint like I am using. And so with issues 17 through 20, I finished the first wing that I was working on and then completed the laser cannon of the second wing. That takes us to issues 21, through 24. So this is the second package I received, most recent box. And there you can see all the covers and parts that came with each. In issue 21, we're gonna work some on the wing that now goes with the cannon from the previous box. In this issue, there were some details about the vintage toy. And a couple of other issues have done that as well, talked about the original X-Wing toy. And the main character in this one was Obi-Wan, and they looked at Ewan McGregor's ship. Uh, here is the tight accent piece that I used the end of the screwdriver on the last time, if you remember. I had a lot of trouble with this one. And then something new, there's three little square accents. Uh, I didn't have this on the top wing, but I had to depress these into the wing. And they kind of make a nice little three-dimensional uh, texture uh, here, here, and here. Uh, and issue 21, this is what it looks like when it's finished. 
In issue 22, the article inside this was The Grand Inquisitor with Jason Isaacs. And that was just some more wing parts, things, little details to clean up the wing. It wasn't, you know, there wasn't a lot here. Uh, issue 23 came with some of the larger pieces. And the article inside was about Ahsoka Tano, who was played by Ashley Eckstein, and talked about her ship. And again, just more wing pieces, you know, adding some more details onto the wing. Issue 24 had an article about CR978, and here was the little front engine piece that gave me so much trouble the last time. If you remember, I had to take the whole thing apart and switch it around. This time, I'm lining it up to make sure that it's going to fit perfectly. I'm not taking any chances. Everything looks right so far. And then underneath, a surprise, uh, doors. This is really cool. There's doors underneath this one, so not every wing is going to be the same. And I think I was worried about that, that every build would feel the same. But this is a fun surprise. Then the last thing I want to talk about is how I put the binder together. So this came with the binder a little while ago. And I've had the binder sitting on my shelf. Haven't done anything with it. Tried to figure out how to do it. So there's these little plastic uh, U-shape pieces inside. I'm going to snap these off. And then the little sticks that are inside the U-shape are going to break each one out individually. And they turn into these little nails or these little posts that push through the top and bottom and they become an anchor. So there's an anchor at the bottom, an anchor at the top, and they trap the magazine in between. So what I've done is I've taken the magazine, folded it open to the staples, so the halfway mark, and then put the nails through that point, and then... When I finish one magazine, I do the next. So each magazine had to be done individually, one at a time, both with nails, finding the center, grouping it together. And then when I was done, I got 20 magazines in, in total. So the binder that they sent me uh, just held the first 20 magazines. So I'm assuming I'm gonna get a new binder soon because I've already got five issues that are outside the binder. So I'm hoping this will encourage me maybe to read the magazines because really what's happening is it comes in the mail i'm so excited i tear everything open i build the little instruction things that i'm supposed to build and then i push that magazine aside and i go on to the next one right i don't sit there and and pause with each magazine maybe if i was getting this once a month and each issue is coming individually I, the, my whole thought process would move a little slower but as it is i'm getting you know a box with four inside and half the time i'm saving it up where I have two boxes so I can do a really big build so I only have to sit down once with everything. So maybe now that it's all trapped up in a binder, I'll actually sit down and read through some of these articles. It's obvious that they put a lot of time and love and care into it. That's everything I got from the Dia Dostini Build Your Own X-Wing Kit. I hope you've enjoyed this. Give me some comments and some encouragement uh, in the comment section below. And if you guys like Star Wars, you want to see more of this, definitely like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to keep coming back and doing creative and fun videos like this. May the force be with you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.